there's ever a morning that was fine, it would be today. We're here at the Husky in Lloydminster, Alberta. This is where we went to sleep. And this is where we woke up. How about that? Interesting how that happens every day. I disappear to this magical place where things happen just the way I want them. Most times. And all of a sudden I come back and here I am exactly where I left. It's like you can go on a little mini vacation every night. As long as you're not having bad dreams, it's like a little mini vacation. Even if you don't dream at all, it's just like you go into this big abyss of blackness. But it's not scary, it's relaxing. Energizing, it's like sort of charging in your batteries, you know, plugging in your batteries, charging your batteries. It's like a little vacation every night. I love sleeping, I love sleeping. I hate waking up. Then, then you actually got to get up and then, you know, the real world is here. Oh, I like the dream world better. All right, ladies and fellers, fellers and other fellers, ladies and other ladies. Seatbelt working right? This curtain always gets in the way of the seatbelt. I don't like that. Well, the thumb is giving me a little bit of problems today again. Why are you sore again? Remember I jammed it in Newfoundland? All right, let's go. We are ready to rock and roll. Release the brakes, release the trailer brakes. Turn the lights on. Guys, no fighting, we're vlogging. We gotta go. Okay, let's get out of here. Here we go. How dare you come? Hey! I'm driving here. No signals. No signals. How am I supposed to know what you're doing if you don't use your signals, Mr. Powell? Turn left on 16. Hi, Mandy. We can do this. All right, here we go. So this is the first day without Sergeant's cage. I, I Like I said before, I still have it, but I took it down because I want to be able to trust him without it. And it's taking up a lot of space and I want my bed back. So today, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how it does. Right? No, uh, you just stay there. I wasn't calling you. Your name isn't right, is it? I just gotta look at him and say anything, and he comes, What? Did you, did you say something? Did you call me? Stay there. Stay there. If we ever get this light green, we'll be able to go. Green! Green means go! This town. This town ain't big enough for the three of us. Continue 57 kilometers on 16. Timmers, 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 Timmers. So we just got our Timmy's for the day. Mm -hmm. We've got one more drop today. We finished one here in Vermilion, Alberta, close to the Saskatchewan border, just off the 16. Now we're going to Edmonton. We've got another drop there, about two hours from here. Drop that, we've got all day to get it done, but I want to get there as soon as possible because that's what people do, you get there as soon as possible. Uh, and then from there we go down to British Columbia, Southern British Columbia, and that's over a day's drive to get there. So we're not gonna get there today yet. We're gonna do that tomorrow. And we'll probably get a reload headed home because I have a family gathering next weekend. It is my mom and dad's 40th wedding anniversary. Four, zero. 40 consecutive years of marriage. Wow. You know, in the old days, it would have been just like, oh yeah, 40 years. Uh, everyone else has been married 40 years too. It's nothing special. Nowadays, man, you make it past 10, you're like, woo! You make it to 40, people are like, 
All right, seriously? <laughs> How'd you do that? I uh, wish more marriages would be like that. I, I look up to my parents a lot in their marriage. I, I love the way they treat each other, talk to each other, the way they're around me. I obviously, I don't know every little detail of their marriage. Uh, they, they do always, I'm not married myself, not yet anyways. Uh, I've been engaged once, it didn't work out. Uh, but, yeah, when I get married to a beautiful woman, I hope that my marriage will be like their marriage. They've been good role models in my life, you know? I know they're watching this video. You guys have been good role models. Uh, you've taught with actions instead of words. Sure, you tell me the right way of doing things and the better way of doing things, but as a kid growing up, and especially as a teenager, those words go right through my head. Obviously, you guys know that. Uh, <laughs> you raised me. It's your actions that speak louder than your words. And as I grew up, started wondering, how do I act in certain situations? What do I do now? I would think back to what did mom and dad do? And that's when their actions really come into play. When I remember how they reacted in certain situations, like when I was on the road with my dad, when people would cut him off. How he reacted really affects the way I react. I think I've got a little bit more of a temper than he does. I get frustrated too quickly, quicker than he does. Not like I'm like a raging, Rah! it's just, he seems to be a really cool, mellow guy, really like calm. I wish I could be more like him. Me, I have a limit and I think my fuse is a little shorter than his. <laughs> uh, same with my mom, oh, raising me. Oh man, she had to put up with a lot, man. They never failed. They never faltered. I don't even remember a, a time in my life when they yelled at me. They would discipline me, don't get me wrong. I, they disciplined me real good. But they never did it out of anger. They never spoke to me out of anger. I don't ever remember them doing that anyways. Every time that I can remember them disciplining me, I deserved it. Absolutely, I deserved it. And they never went overboard it was just a simple quick discipline solution and we move along and look at me today if I say so myself <laughs> I think I turned out good I don't know I'd like to think I turned out good okay let's get going too much talking more driving hey -oh, hey -oh. <laughs> what So we're sitting here on the west side of Edmonton on the 16. Gridlock, traffic jam. Apparently there's a red light or something up ahead that's making people stop. Who stops for red lights? That's so last year. So we're almost at the destination. Here in Edmonton, I'm gonna drop off this one piece and then I'm gonna head over to uh, Southern BC. I'll probably get there tomorrow sometime. But I'm gonna periscope you guys right away. So if you, uh, follow me on Periscope, you get live feeds from me, live broadcasts, you will have seen this, uh, this Periscope from yesterday. Excuse me, I need to get back in your lane, please. Excuse me, you're on the road. Excuse me. Well, hello. You're on the road. Excuse me. Coming through. I hate it when I have to unload on the road that I'm in everybody's way. So we just got unloaded here in Edmonton. We're headed to Cranbrook, British Columbia. I believe they have a Husky in town there. I'll probably sleep there tonight, I don't know. We'll see how far we get. Uh, we are 727 kilometers away. That is about, oh, going through the mountains, probably eight and a half hours Turn to get there. Right on 184 Street Northwest. Hey, hey, hey. So bossy. What'd you say, right? So bossy, but I need her. I need her. All right, here we go. Here we go. You see, these are the proper length of squeegee sticks. Remember last yesterday, I showed you those little tiny little ones that Husky uses and Esso? Why are they so short? 
How Goliath are these truck drivers? I haven't seen them yet. But these are the length that they're supposed to be so that we can reach the windows from the ground without becoming a monkey and crawling all over our truck. That's just my own opinion though. So if any of you have control over that, Husky, Esso, if any of you have some influence or know people who know people, how about we get some longer squeegee sticks like this? It makes a world of a difference. It seems like a little thing, seems like nothing really big, but it makes a big difference to us truckers. If you agree with me, leave a comment down below in the description if you would like to see the longer sticks as well at Huskies and Essos in Canada. It just makes more sense to me, right? And that earns Flying J. Truck to draw a stamp of approval. Boom. All right, let's get on the road here. Let's show you what's in front of me here. You ready? All right, so we're at the Flying J here in Red Deer. Let's go to the mountains, shall we? We have to go through Calgary yet. We'll get there. What are you doing, my friend? You're going backwards. Oh well, I go backwards sometimes. I can't talk. The sign says, thank you for your patronage. You're very, very welcome. How do I get out of here? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go this way. There's a traffic light this way. Yeah. Woo! Engine fan! Calm down! Calm down! The world is not ending. Despite what news people say. We're still in Alberta. But we're in the beginning of the Rocky Mountains. Check it out. Those houses up there, eh? You see that? This thing's like super slow zooming in, but look at those houses up there, isn't that nice? Is there more? Oh, very nice. This is the municipality of Crow's Nest Pass. Still in Alberta, that is the flag of Alberta. If it would fly properly, you'd be able to see it, but blue flag with a a wheat bottom representing the wheat field and they got the Rocky Mountains above that and the English flag above that oh it's right here aha see that's exactly what's in the center of their blue flag that right there see the wheat on the bottom represents the the prairies the wheat fields and then the foothills and then the Rocky Mountains in the back and with the English cross above it all symbolizing the English uh, English con conquest or the conquering of, I don't know because it's we because we speak English here that's why and they got a little trolley cart here very nice I'm gonna periscope from here right away guys so if you're on board with my periscope you would have seen this already yesterday and I'm also gonna take a picture of this put it up on Instagram and whatnot because this is nice let's do that first and then we'll periscope all right there's the mountains. Wonderful.
is a very nice smelling tree. Like seriously, it's got these little flower things on here. I was wondering where that smell was coming from. I'm like, huh? Very nice. All right, so we're here on uh, Main Street in Cranbrook, British Columbia. Very nice. I think I'm going to go across the street to ABC Country Restaurant right there to grab a bite to eat. As soon as I'm done the vlog here. They got everything. They got Arby's down there, McDonald's I see, Dairy Queen. It says grill. Dairy Queen grill and chill. I wonder what else they sell there. I've only ever bought ice cream at Dairy Queen. That's what Dairy Queen's for. Oh, Arby's just closed I guess. Lights just went off. There's a deer right here. Dude. Dude, there's a deer right here. What? Dude, hey. Cheers. Mind in your own business. You're jaywalking, deer. Just saying, use the crosswalk. Just saying, just, just grazing. Just chilling. I'm gonna go see how close we can get to that thing. Look at that thing. Just hanging out. Traffic doesn't even phase it. They go, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's just the cars. I'm used to the cars. Right, no big deal. Just hanging out. <laughs> All right then. There he goes. Walmart's actually back there. He's probably going to Walmart. Need some new camo. Just, and nobody around here even seems to care. They all just go about their business like nothing's going on. Oh, just a deer. Jay walking in town, just a deer. Jay walking in town, nothing to see. Just a deer moseying through town. Everybody just keep doing what you're doing. Good, good job. Good job. Did anyone else find that strange? I mean, I'm from the bush and usually when a deer walks through town, we're like, huh, we better get that thing out of here. Then again, I live in a town of hunters. <laughs> So if I get it out of here, I mean, depends if it's hunting season or not. Depends on the method. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. That was strange. So guys, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to go down below to the description. Click the links down there. There's a link to my store. If you guys would like to have a Trucker Jaw shirt, there is a store down below. There's a link there for you. Go check it out if you want to. Get yourself your own Trucker Jaw. It doesn't say Honda on it. It actually says Trucker Josh on it. I, I like them. I have a bunch of them. I bought them myself. This thing here is in my way. Excuse me, Mr. Lotto Max. Oh, great. Now I broke it. Oh, great. Now I gotta fix it. Lotto Max, $50 million. Huh. Tempting. So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, click those links down below. There's past vlogs of mine all the way up to two years ago. Go check them out.